the very first thing to do is importing media to the project. After that, I am dragging the rocket to the timeline and adjust the length of the track to 12 seconds. Then I need to set the proper size and position of the rocket on the canvas. The center of the rotation is in the very middle of the rocket. It is necessary to move it to the middle of the canvas. To do this, I need to make the second object on the other side of the canvas. The simplest way of doing this is to copy and paste the rocket, then put the second object in the right position. Now I need to make the second rocket invisible. After selecting it, I am setting the opacity to zero. Once I have two objects, I group them together. When the group is selected, it is clear where the center of rotation is. Now it's time to add the animation to the track. Place the playhead somewhere in the middle of the track and add arrow using the short key. Notice the playhead's position. It is at the end of animation. I am going to set the value of the angle. My choice is three times around, which is equal to 1080 degrees. Once the angle is set, I need to adjust the duration of the animation to the full length of the track. Only one thing left to do. Default easing in Camtasia is exponential. I want steady speed of the rocket, so right click on the arrow and change the easing to linear. And that's it. Time to play.